This is Death Valley, the hottest place in the entire world. It's currently 105 degrees, I have limited resources, and I'm gonna try to survive the next 24 hours. So if we wanna survive this challenge and get out of the desert, there's a series of tasks we have to do. The first task, we have to find water. That sounds like a good idea, it's very dry out here. You see anything? Uh, no. Clearly there's something here. See that hole there? Yeah. So there's gotta be water somewhere, right? And also there's ants going down that way. I say we just follow those ants. That should lead us to the water source. This guy's been in the desert for five minutes and he thinks he's Bear Grylls. <laughs> All right, we're gonna follow some ants. You seeing what I'm seeing or is that, is that just a mirage? I think that's a fresh water source. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I had zero faith that we would find water and I didn't want to die, so we got this at Walmart right before we got here. Task number two, we have to make shelter, but I have a surprise for you. Yeah. We don't actually have to make shelter because I booked us an Airbnb, but, well, I'm not gonna tell you what the but is, but it's not exactly the uh, nicest Airbnb. Okay. Follow me. It looked a little bigger in the picture. That's the Airbnb? Yeah. Look at that, we've already completed task one and task two. We got water, we got shelter. That was easy. I feel like we've cheated a lot on well, both of them. Next we have to make a fire, find food, cook that food, go to sleep, try to survive the night without getting you know, eaten by a wildebeest. Are there wildebeests out here? I don't, I don't think so. What, what is a wildebeest? We need to find entertainment for ourselves and then, you know, at the end of the day, survive 24 hours. So here's my plan. Mm -hmm. We need to get a little bit of sunscreen on so we don't burn up. Good. We also need to find food go hunting for food before the sun goes down. Mm -hmm. Got to find some fire, the wood, logs. I feel like if we're gonna find something, we're gonna need a weapon, you know, to attack it. Okay. I got one. What are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna, you know, smack it. I don't know, like, you know, smack it in the head. Okay. I'm a hunter, man. It's in my blood. I could feel it. All right. Actually, never gone hunting before, but this is the time. Did you get it? No, it ran away. It was a cricket. So you guys might be wondering, why is it 105 degrees and you guys are not sweating at all? Steve? Humidity. 9% humidity, which is, I mean, about as low as you can get. I wouldn't eat that, buddy. No, this is actually edible. Actually? Yeah. It's called desert broccoli. It's like very nutritious. You I don't. Try? No, I'm not going to try. Try it. No, I'm not going to try. You eat it first. I'm offering it to you. I don't want it. Here, fine. I'll take some. chicken from Walmart in the car. We would have caught the, the pigeons. We essentially had them. Yeah. All right. Food. Check. <laughs> All right. So it's been a few hours. The sun has come down, which is nice because now the temperature dropped like 35 degrees. It's comfortable now. It went from 105 to like 75 degrees. So the next task we have to do we have to make a fire. You were a Boy Scout. You know how to make a fire. I was a Boy Scout for a week. Yeah, it's, that's a week more than me. I don't think this is gonna work. We also got a lighter at Walmart. Does that count as our fire task? I think so. It's a fire. <laughs> So the fire is made, which means it's time for the next task. You know what it is? Cook food. It's cook food. So we caught some uh, 
fresh, wild chicken breast from Walmart. I'm noticing we just got everything at Walmart. Yeah, we're cheating a lot. You know what? That's fine. We're still surviving out here in the world's hottest place. To cook our chicken, we decided to put a flat piece of wood over the fire and use it as a grill. <laughs> as we sat there and watched our chicken develop a very dark char across the top, we couldn't help but feel a sense of pride for surviving in the wilderness and cooking some chicken. I don't know if I want to eat that. I have some almonds in the car. Could have at least gotten salted. So it's been about, I don't know how many hours, 11, 10? It Something like that. Like 50. It's nighttime, we're gonna go to sleep. I don't know how well we'll sleep. This is actually not that bad. So we've still got like five or six more hours in the desert. Our water is kind of getting low. Yeah, it's concerning. You know, it's your fault though. Why? I, I'm like a Prius. I am like an electric vehicle for water. I'm low and slow. I call myself a cactus. You're like a, you're like a, a Mack truck. If we die, it's your fault. Anyway, here's my plan. We have most of our tasks checked, right? Even though most of them we kind of cheated by buying stuff at Walmart. I think it's time for some entertainment. We found a couple games nearby that were a lot of fun and helped pass the time a lot faster. Downside is it made us even more thirsty and we could not afford to go through any more water. So we've got like three hours left before we can leave. I think we're pretty much done with moving for the day. I'm not getting out of this chair. Yeah, it's 107 degrees today. It's hotter than it was yesterday. I didn't think that was possible. Actually, I looked it up and it's been as high as 134 degrees in Death Valley. So I guess we got lucky. We have filled our bottles for the final time. We're pretty much out of water. We've got two hours left here before we can leave. And I saw like a, I don't know if it's a deserted town. I see some buildings way down there. I'm thinking we're gonna go on a journey. So we set off on one final journey deep into the desert, hoping to find treasure or silver or gold, maybe some food. It ended up being some guy's backyard, so we had to turn around and go back. All right, so clearly we're not the greatest survivalists in the world, but we did make fire last night. We explored a new place, which was kind of cool, and we did survive 24 hours in the world's hottest place. True. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Maybe we are the greatest survivalists. <laughs> pretty good at this.